Hey guys, I'm glad to see everyone liked the last project, but one comment I saw was that it would be cool to be able to make something similar without 3D printing. And I'm happy to say that that's actually really easy to do. Like, the actual cutting device is really, really simple. It's just a pencil sharp and a blade held above a flat surface using a spacer and a bolt. So in this video, I have three different designs that you can build with zero 3D printing or fancy tools required. But first, a few useful numbers. The hole in a pencil sharpener blade is 2.5mm in diameter. You can enlarge it to 3mm, but I found this to be a pain to do, and that it's not really worth it. I use 2.5mm spacers to make cord, and I find this produces a nice width that I like. Obviously, lower spacers make thinner cord, and taller spacers wider cord. And finally, I find a distance of 1cm between the centre of the bolt holes to be ideal. And now onto the three examples of simple rope makers that you can probably make with what you already have. The first model here is literally two bolts through a metal plate. In this case, I added holes to one of those super cheap multi-tools. I use these nuts as spaces. It is no space for storing bolts or tools, but if you're using this in a larger kit, that shouldn't be a problem. A very simple tool, but still very effective. It would go well in something like an Outwards kit. The second tool is built into this tip. The tin contains all the contents, as well as some useful tools, including a screwdriver and this tiny pair of pliers, useful for pulling cord through and tightening bolts. This tin is a little too large, but you could fill it with more tools, or use a smaller tin, like this one. This design is nice because it contains all the parts and tools nicely, but it's also more bulky than the other kits. Here is the third tool. It is built into a pencil sharpener that I took the plate from. It is lightweight and contains all the pieces inside of it. As an added benefit, if this is meant for a survival kit, the pencil sharpener still works, which is great for making some easy wood shavings for fire starting. The downsides are that it isn't as strong as the other designs, and there's no place to store tools. Overall, still an interesting option. And there it is, three small rope making tools that you can almost certainly make yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video, and that maybe it inspired you to get out and make something. If you did enjoy, consider liking and subscribing. It's a great indication to me that I should keep making content like this. Anyways, thanks for watching and see you all in the next video.